And uh, before we go today, time for some reaction from a Chinese cartoonist to a recent uh, notorious violent incident, which uh, we mentioned actually in our net check section earlier. And uh, the cartoonist today is uh, Zhu Shenlin. This comes from the uh, dfdaily.com. The picture is pretty simple, uh, rather gruesome. It's a, a man lying on the ground. Uh, his head is being stamped on and there's blood coming out of it. And uh, that man in uniform there is actually a Chengguan. We'll explain what that is in a minute. Uh, but he's jumped so hard on the man that it appeared, apparently his boots have stuck in the blood uh, and uh, he has been, uh, his legs have come off, he's been injured as well. And the, the actual title of this cartoon is Fresh Blood is Sticky. Now, first of all, to explain Cheng Guan, that officer there, he's not exactly a policeman. These are urban law enforcement officers employed by local governments uh, to enforce local bylaws, usually commercial laws, to make sure that uh, well, street vendors obey the regulations, that they don't sell anywhere. They'll also look at street furniture what sort of signs people have out and generally the the uh, there's been antagonism between these officers uh, not always uh, very highly uh, trained or educated and uh, and local vendors particularly people working in, in commercial activity uh, and quite a lot of violence in some cases these people have been used as sort of uh, uh, muscle, hired muscle or thugs for local governments uh, seeking to implement other laws uh, against the local population. Currently a, a video has been circulating in China of a, an incident which took place in uh, w w involving a Chengguan in Yan'an city and this was an, the owner of a rather high-end bike shop. They sell bikes called Merida. So these are not cheap bikes and they had some bikes outside the shops and the Chengguan officers came along, disputed that the bikes should be there or not and actually just started to take some away. The owner of the bike shop argued with it and some of the staff there and it resulted in these rather gruesome scenes of, of pushing back and forth and finally one of the Chengguan, this rather heavy gentleman getting up and deliberately stamping on the head of the owner. The owner's name was Liu Guofeng. Uh, he was injured obviously from that. His skull was fractured, he had injuries to his jaw and his thorax and the video was shared over five million times within just 24 hours after being released. Uh, it did, uh, it got responses such as uh, the general responses of public mafia tactics, they called it animal behaviour, uh, they said he should be made criminally responsible responsible. Uh, but apart from the outrage, uh, our cartoonists here are saying that this has had other consequences for the local government in Yan because it's drawn so much attention to the local government. Um, first of all, the, uh, as we mentioned, the, the municipal authorities suspended the people involved, fired them, and they said they were temporary workers. We heard about that earlier on in our net check section. Uh, this resulted in widespread derision online, people saying it was just a, a scapegoat and they were being used, uh, got rid of. The Beijing News said that uh, the temporary excuse was no longer believed, and even if this was was a temporary worker, they shouldn't escape responsibility of the authorities. And since then, uh, media and, and, and online people have been looking at, the at the, this local government. Uh, they found, for example, that its vehicle budget is far above what it should be. Um, the uh, other negative consequences, China Radio and International also looked at uh, their buildings, the, the local government buildings, and found that they were, uh, in this time of frugality and uh, uh, budget cutting in China, that they were very lavish buildings. They had 30-story office government buildings for a relatively small town and all of these negative consequences for the local government came out of this video of one of their officers uh, behaving violently. So uh, the cartoon is saying there that it, uh, that, uh, it has had some negative consequences quite apart from the, the legality or the morality of, of the action of this particular Changwan.